How is everyone? We good? Welcome to uh, this year's 2010 Fashionable Wearable Arts. Now, I think we have got one of the biggest amount of entries ever. It's ridiculous. You should see the amount of candy that's back there. I mean, you are what you eat and they're definitely candy back there. So um, today we're all supporting um, the tsunamis and the earthquakes and stuff that happened in Chile earlier on this year. So I'm pretty sure we've raised a lot of money for that. So a round of applause everyone for donating. That's great. All right, now we've got some lovely judges down here. We've got Mr. Wilson and we've got uh, Miss McKee and Miss Spencer. So a round of applause. Cheer them up, they've got a lovely bottle of candy in front of them. Oh, now I have got a spray bag full of candy. It's ridiculous. It's like 2.5 kgs of candy. Look, I'll show it to you. It's, look, at, look at this. And, so, and now, because you guys should all know I'm useless at throwing. This is really what the candy is for. You can throw it right down the back. So now, today in the wearable arts we've got the house sort of section and then we've got the general section which is just people that want to enter you know mix match that kind of thing so um, without further ado we're going to bring on our house section which is first I'm going to start off with Nata I think it was Fanata. Oh, the music. Good. Yay. No. Oh, there we go. Oh. Okay, Nata's hand woman has the finest quality candies and the ability to assist life with hats and bags. She can win everyone over who finds out the disease. She has a tendency for hundreds and thousands. Sorry, no, continue Audrey, you look great. Oh, that's not Audrey. <laughs> Sorry. Next up we have Britain House welcoming the Lady Lollipop onto the stage, modeled by the succulent Sophie. Uh, Lolly Land's Defender or to die for. There she goes, walking down the catwalk. As you can see, she's definitely in pretty house with all that yellow. <laughs> Next up we have Rutherford House. <laughs> Emerging now like the Virgin Venus from her shell comes Rutherford's Amelia Sanders supporting this dress made entirely from Cadbury chocolate wrappers. Layered in intricate oriental style, this dress has more feng shui than Buddha's holiday home. The love... <coughs> the love... 
created from secretly only Sweetsman's gooey filling. She evokes images of the lone astronaut. <laughs> Who wrote this? The purple abyss of the foreign planet. <laughs> Next up, we have Cooper House. Oh, this is a lovely story. Polar Bear Stew. It was a fine day when Polar Bear Stew left his humble home in the North Pole to come visit Kashmir High School's fashionable and wearable arts show. While swimming down to New Zealand, Stew encountered a lollipop ship that had run aground on a rocky island. Lollipops had spilled everywhere. Polar Bear Stew quickly saved the crew members, swimming them to the nearest country in Cuba. Then, Stew quickly swam to New Zealand where he realised he was completely covered in blue lollipops. We have Shepherd House. Once upon a time at the Tooth Fairy headquarters, a naughty young fairy was standing trial for buying teeth with orange candy instead of coins. This was enough to get her expelled. The can show her rebellion, the candy her life, and the toothpaste to show her home. Shepherd called her the rebellious Tooth Fairy. We have Blake House. This outfit was made from recycled clothes, plastic bags, and approximately about 60 candy wrappers. The maker of this dress was now a bit sick of strawberry and raspberry flavored sweets. Hopefully, this garment gets Blake out of the gutter. Go, Blake! Woo! That, that's, that's Audrey. I got the, got the other lady wrong. Oh, so I got the other lady wrong. Okay, that's, that's it from our house competitors. We're going to get them to all go down one more time. Hey, I'm going to give you lollies all in the meantime, okay? Is, is that the only reason why you guys came down here? So we've got the, all the contestants again. Are we, are we, yes? So we've got Nata House, Britain House. Rutherford, we got Cooper, Shepherd, and Lake. Round of applause, guys. Okay, just to stop yelling out lollies, like I'm gonna hand them out with some lollies or not. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, quiet, quiet. On the count of three, I just yell out lollies. One, two, three! Lollies! Okay, now I've had an ear infection of, of a couple of weeks, so I'm a little bit deaf. No, seriously. So just, just yell it again, but really ridiculously, really ridiculously loud. Go. 